as all miller's theorem is one of the important theorem in circuit analysis right so what is a miller theorem state miller's theorem states that a, a if there is a impedance element that is connected between two nodes in a circuit this particular circuit can be represented uh, equally by dividing it into two nodes two separate nodes with an impedance to ground you can you can see here there are two nodes v1 and v2 with voltages v1 and v2 and there is a impedance element that is connected with the common ground of the circuit now this particular uh, circuit can be represented equally by having a node v1 uh, with impedance to ground and v2 separately with impedance to ground and each impedance is represented by z uh, by 1 minus k towards node v1 and z into k by k minus 1 on the second node k is nothing but um, v2 by v1 that's the uh, voltages of these nodes so um, this is a very important theorem to simplify the circuit representation and represent the circuit uh, equivalent circuit for easy analysis that's the purpose of miller's theorem and where does, where does we use miller's theorem generally so miller's theorem is used uh, uh, in circuits where uh, the resistor is adding in complexity to analyze that circuit like example if you see the bjt circuit here um, there is a feedback resistance between collector and the base okay so it's very easy to analyze the um, currents across this collector across this uh, source resistor collector resistor but uh, this is a little difficult to analyze in these cases, uh, uh, we can apply Miller's theorem and come up with uh, equivalent resistance uh, with uh, uh, one resistance to ground from the collector node and one resistance to base from um, one resistor to ground from the base node and uh, analyze the circuit. So this is where it helps to um, represent the equivalent circuit and simplify the circuit analysis. Very important thing. Uh, for the engineers, it can be a short in arm sometimes to help uh, um, represent the circuit and analyze it easily.